Mike from runfizz.com. Thank you for watching today's video. And please share this with a friend if you know someone who uh, would be helped by the content of this video. Today I want to talk to you about a group of muscles that goes largely unnoticed until something goes wrong. Now that muscle group is your adductors or your inner thigh and groin muscles. As many of you uh, have experienced, those muscles can get tight and cranky, strained, etc. And then when they do, all of a sudden you notice them with every step that you take. Walking, running, going up and down stairs, just about every activity throughout the day. And that's when you realize how important and how uh, involved those muscles actually are. Now anatomically, those muscles are located all along the inner thigh, originating up onto the lower part of your pelvis. So when, at first glance, what we tend to think is those muscles simply bring your legs back together. And so the temptation to strengthen those muscles is to uh, put a ball between our knees and squeeze them or some other device and simply squeeze back and forth. Now that will work those muscles, but that's not really what those muscles do throughout the day. As we go about our day, as we walk, as we run, as we go up and down stairs, uh, as we simply move, what those muscles try to do is simply stabilize and put on the brakes with every motion that we do. So for instance, as I, as I run, my hip flexors will try to swing my hip forward, okay? That's what our hip flexors want to do. They want to flex the hip. Now our adductors, though, will help control that and make sure that that hip doesn't go forward too fast or in a, in a wild manner. So my adductors are essentially putting on the brakes to make sure that my leg can come back to midline gracefully and under control. Now on the flip side, as I'm running and my one hip flexes, my other hip extends, now my adductors on the other leg are also putting on the brakes with that to help bring my leg back to midline. So what I want you to think about is that no matter which direction my leg goes, those muscles are trying to control that and help bring it back. So whether that's a forward motion, whether that's an out to the side motion, whether that's a rotational motion or some combination of those, your adductor and groin muscles are trying to essentially stabilize that and bring it back. They always want to bring it back to the midline. And so because of that and knowing that, that helps us determine how we should best uh, rehabilitate those muscles if they're cranky, as well as strengthen those muscles proactively to hopefully prevent any issues in the future. So what I'm gonna show you today are three exercises to help maintain good health of your adductor muscles. The first one is a simple stretch you can do. So you'll need a stairs or a chair. You're gonna put one foot up on that chair and you're gonna turn the foot that's on the ground out at a 90 degree angle. You're gonna keep your upper body relatively upright and you're going to drive your hips gently towards the chair until you feel a comfortable stretch in your inner thigh. Once you feel that stretch, you're gonna gently pulse forward and backward going towards the chair. And then you're also gonna pulse side to side going perpendicular uh, to the chair. You can do that about 30 times each direction. And again, what you should feel is a comfortable but productive stretch in your inner thigh of the foot that's on the ground. Secondly, I'm going to show you a way to use a foam roller to help uh, produce better flexibility of, the, uh, of those muscles. It's a tricky area to uh, self-massage using a foam roller, but we're going to take a stab at it anyway. So you get down on your stomach, put the foam roller on the inner thigh, kick that leg out to the side, and you're going to gently roll up and down with the, the foam roller running uh, perpendicular to the angle of your leg. You can do that uh, at least 30 times to try to get a relaxation of the muscles. Now quite often the pain that you feel is very very close to the pelvis. So it can be in either the origin of one of the muscles or a, a smaller muscle itself called the pectineus. Now that's going to be a very difficult area to use a foam roller on or even a uh, trigger point ball. So you want to be very very careful with that area and try not to get uh, too close to the, to the pelvis because that likely is not going to go very well. And if you, that's where you have an area of strain, then it would be helpful to seek out a professional who can uh, help you work through that uh, in a more uh, specific manner. 
Now lastly, and probably most importantly, is a series of exercises uh, designed to develop strength and stability in your adductor muscles. So what you'll do is get on a firm surface, you're going to get a rag or something that will slide, you're going to put one foot on that rag, and now we're going to take that foot out and we're essentially going to do some sliding lunges in multiple different directions. And by having your foot on the rag, what that means is that we can't uh, use our foot to help load and push off. We've really got to be in control the whole time, which really, really uh, uses the adductors. So you're going to go forward, you're going to go at angles, backwards to the side, and you're going to do that for about a minute, hitting multiple different directions. And what you want to be careful of in this exercise is to not go too far too fast. So ideally you want to start very in very uh, small ranges and work into further and further ranges as you get more and more comfortable with the activity. This will help you not only if you have some pain to make sure you're not just barging through the pain barrier, and it will also help you strengthen to make you that much more bulletproof as a runner. So give those a try, let me know if you have questions on those, and have fun with them. Run fast, friends.